This you're going to love in this morning's Health Watch, Facebook Envy. Have you ever looked at your friends' Facebook pages and wondered, how come their lives are so perfect and mine, well, not so much? Well, you're not alone. As early show technology expert Katie Linendahl now reports. Over the last five years, social networking sites like Facebook have become the place we share our lives publicly with family and friends. The more than 500 million user profiles are filled with images and updates of people enjoying the best moments of their lives. Everybody puts that they're going to Miami or they're doing fun stuff. However, a new study suggests that these sites could actually have a negative impact on your mood and end up causing more distress than happiness. What you put on display is how great your life is. The cars you drive, the vacations you go on, nobody's life is that perfect. And so whenever you start to compare your life to those images, you're going to be depressed because you're going to feel like your life is lacking. The sad thing about Facebook is you, you know, you'd never put up something like, oh, a big mistake I made today, or, you know, you'd never put in the about me section, you know, I'm struggling with self-approval. Most of us tend to play up the positive aspects of our lives while excluding the negative. The result is that a Facebook profile never quite tells the whole story, and we end up comparing ourselves to a one-dimensional version of someone else's life. If we could overcome the need to compare ourselves to other people and the need to keep up with the Joneses, then maybe these effects I've described wouldn't exist. So just remember, the next time you log on and get Facebook envy, the reality of one's life may not be as glamorous as their profile posts. Or boasts. Katie Linendahl, CBS News, New York.